Welcome everybody to a Delco Nerd Network Hot Take. Guys, if you have not seen a hot take before, well, it's where a few friends get in a basement, we give our thoughts, we give our opinions on a TV show, a movie, or a game. Today, it's going to be a movie, and that movie is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Here to discuss, as always, not a spider person, Chris Drea. Thwip Gooch, how are you? Good, I am very good, and you want to know why. Why is that? Because I'm going to be at too many games at the end of June giving a panel called insert game here remake you're getting them whether you like it or not so on uh the 24th um that's saturday 5 15 to 6 i'm going to be doing a panel on the sapphire stage um we're going to be talking about video game remakes i'm going to give you a pitch for a game that i would love to be seen remade and i hope you can join us in the audience and be a part of the podcast because it will be recorded and we will put it up um at some time after that but uh, you know hopefully everything goes well and go see gucci's beautiful face yeah, go yeah. check it out. It'll be it'll be cool. This is the first time I've done something like this per se. I've I've done like speaking engagement engagements to some degree, but not quite like this. Not for the podcast, and uh, unfortunately, uh, not alone. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. Sadly, I will be on vacation, and I will be there in spirit, though. Yeah, uh, it'll be fun. Sending love. Absolutely, it'll be a great time. But anyway, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Into the Spider Verse sequel. Jesus Christ, where do we fucking start? <laughs> this. So I've simmered a lot more. Okay. I will say. Right. Uh, how do we even? How do we even begin to broach this? So uh, <laughs> I listen. I will say. I, I think a lot of people are loving this movie. I'm excited to see it. I, I love to see when movies are doing well, and this one's going to do fine, and it's going to do amazingly. I personally was a bit disappointed coming out of this movie. Uh, I thought overall it's a great looking film. There were some animation choices I wasn't the biggest fan of. I, I do think it was way too long. Uh, I there we we don't get the title card for twenty minutes. But other than that, <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun in the moments that were a great time. I thought, you know, Miles is an interesting character. I feel like we we didn't spend as much time with him as I would have liked because I get it. We're kind of introducing all these spider people. Where t- Gwen is taking on more of a central role in this. They're trying to push forward these themes of what all the spider people have to deal with. And I, I I get that. And I I like it a lot. And I think there's a lot of good and great in this movie. I just think it feels like the first two thirds of a movie. And that's the, uh, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like the pacing was off for me and we got the third act chopped off and that kind of upset me. Uh, Apparently people are really loving this though. And like I said, I don't want to, and that's what almost like it gives me pause there was a similar movie that kind of, or, or a, a movie that ended similarly in the way of, you know, it was very abrupt. And that was Dune. And I was trying to walk, and I was talking to you, Gooch, as I was walking out. I was like, why do I like Dune more? Why am I fine with this being just and I, and I think the you, first half and I of the think movie? I gave you the answer, right? Well, sort of. I th- and I think it is because I feel like Dune feels like the first two parts of a movie, and we're getting the last two parts of a movie. Whereas this felt like the first two acts of a, of a film, and we didn't get the final act. And I don't know why I'm less okay with that for some reason. Like I feel well, like we what I said up. to you was you're not as emotionally attached to the characters in Dune than maybe you are. Sure, in, to a degree. The yeah, characters. Absolutely. And I, I will say that first one is such a high bar to touch for me personally. I and I don't, yeah, and I don't that think that's a crazy a thing to say. I, we didn't even review that. Believe no, it or not. because we just didn't. We didn't know what we were getting, and yeah, I'm yeah. kind of sad we didn't. Yeah. But uh, I would put it up there with one of my top favorite superhero films. Period. And. That's a tough thing to touch, and I will give them credit there. So, I don't know, Gooch. I'm definitely leaning a bit negative, but I do. I don't think there's no redeeming qualities or anything at all. Like I, I it's a, it's a good, it's a good, even great movie to a degree. I've but. never been so disappointed in the last thirty seconds of a movie in my life than this movie. Um, Should we say spoilers? Yeah, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, don't watch this if you haven't watched the movie. Continue. Like I, I just don't understand how you. This movie felt like three hours, and it was two hours and 15 minutes, and then you feel like you're going to get another 30 minutes in the movie, and then the movie just ends. That's what the problem, um, yeah, for and me. Like, I'm like, it's a huge fucking issue, and it's like, okay, look at Infinity War. Infinity War is, we knew going in, and and even even in Spider-Verse, we knew there was like a sequel to this. Um, 
And with Infinity War, obviously we knew Endgame was going to come up, but Infinity War feels like its own movie. It doesn't feel like a part one of a part two, even though it it, it is. Sure. It feels like its own beginning, middle, and end. In Spider-Verse, the movie starts, and then we're just like, I feel like the movie just is like at the end already, and then it never really gets to the end. Like, it, the movie is so oddly paced it like it like like I said, it never really like takes off. It's just kind of the ship's just kind of sailing like, along on its course yeah. uh, to the finish line, and then like once we're at the finish line, it crashes into a wall. Like like you just feel like like the, there the, was an audible like what yeah, like when the whole theater was like <laughs> when our when the thing ended, and I yeah. turned to Trey on. I'm like. And I like, literally I said, said, I'm like, I'm like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Well, and I said out loud, I was like, that's not it, right? Because it's so funny. I had to pee. And I'm like, oh, there's half an hour left in this movie. I, I'm going to go pee because I need to. And it's going to be worth it. I get back. And then five minutes later, the movie ends. I'm like, what? I, I have what ne- happened? I, yeah. Like, even though, like, I hated movies like uh, uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage <laughs> and stuff. I don't think, like, the ending of that movie made me hate it. The ending of Across the Spider-Verse just makes me utterly despise it. It feels like Sony made a move to try to make more money, like, and double down on Spider-Verse. It really does. There, are, like, I think the next one is coming out in March, but it's just like, why couldn't have you just, like, finished the fucking movie, made it a little bit longer, and, like, had the movie actually end? I don't care that, like, you have an idea for a sequel, but the fact that you're gonna, like cut us off like that in the middle of of like the actual the ending penultimate to this ending arc. yeah like of the in the middle of the third act genuinely that's yeah. what it felt like it felt like they we got to this big reveal which by the way i that um, obviously miles is the prowler on there i don't like i saw i walked out of the theater right as that reveal happened because i knew i was like this is probably what's gonna come and i walked back in and i'm like so he was the prowler right and super was like yeah he, he's the prowler I love how uh, we're like at the end of the movie. <laughs> no, I know we'll, we already we'll, did. We'll jump back. We'll jump back. Go, but yeah. um, just yeah, the, the the abrupt ending didn't really work incredibly well for me. I I like the the kind of start with Gwen, like seeing what's going on in her universe, but it did feel it kind of odd. It's like this is Miles Morales' movie. Why? Like I guess Gwen should have her own movie. Well, but not... also I felt like we kind of understood what was going on in her world even from the first one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and they, then this whole they really choice spent a lot of time there. And, and even the and, choice with like Peter being the lizard and things like that, and then her ki- her, her killing him, and then you know, and then her having the you know the moment with her dad, Captain Stacy, who would you know normally be with Spider. It felt like they were really hard trying to avoid the thing of like Peter and Gwen are a couple too for something. They're like my friend Peter. It's like what? Yeah, I mean, like what? Do you, like it, it just felt very odd. And like friends I don't, in. Like I'm like, what do you mean? That's not um, how that goes. Um, yeah, and, and like they use that beginning to like you know Gwen now has a shitty life in her own universe. So and she has a way out to be like a you know part of uh, um, the Spider Mig- Clan. Miguel O'Hara's um, interdimensional spider um, society person team. Which consists of a je- um, a black Jessica Drew, Jess Drew, um, Miguel O'Hara, who's Spider Man twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, who else is there? I mean, Sp- there's a few that they Spider Punk's made is up it, for, who, like, or that who, version is made. Is up it just for this those movie. two who come to help her? Yeah, Spider Punk shows up then later. Yeah, uh, the main crew in this is Spider Punk, Gwen, Miles, Peter B. Parker. And oh, dude. Jessica, uh, uh, Spider Woman. Yeah, Mayday. Oh, so cute. I loved, I loved all that animation stuff, and it, it was very well done. This movie has an odd and child endangerment thing. Going he on. even, but the thing is, it he, is kind of strange. It is strange. You but have he, you have a pregnant woman doing some things she probably shouldn't be doing while she's pregnant, and then Peter Parker with his kid. Just fucking like I'm like, what are we doing? He, but I, I, <laughs> like, I love how Peter. Why keep, is this a theme with two characters? He keeps referencing. He, at one point, he, he's like, I really should not keep doing bringing you on these or something like that. And then he he swings. But uh, yeah, it, it just felt like it jumped around a lot. We're in we're in Gwen's universe. We're getting her backstory. The, she jumps over to Miles, who's dealing with his thing. He's trying to go to college, and he's having some parental issues. And you know, he's growing up. He wants to be his own man and things like that. And then Gwen kind of. She, she ha- she's there for spider society reasons you find out to deal with this man called the spot who was created from- what is his team called who it doesn't have a name though no i don't think so it's just like a it's a it's a society of spider-man i don't really 
I don't like our, I don't like the society. I like the spider society. society. I like society. Yeah. <laughs> the spider the, person society. Uh, the spider verse fighting force. <laughs> uh, the uh, the SVFF. Yes, yeah. I like it. The SVFF. Um, yeah, it, it just is bouncing around a lot. They, this movie has so much going on. We don't get the title card for 20 minutes. And I, and I think I came out, I'm like, this is how, this is my comic book fatigue and multiverse fatigue now kicking in. I'm like, this series, they're trying to do so fucking much that I feel like, like. But that's not a comic book fatigue. That's, that's a poor story fatigue. I, no, it's a multiverse fatigue. They're trying to do so much and like cram all this shit. But down again, I don't think that's like okay. I hear you, but for me, that's not the that's it's the writing of it. It's how you use that. It's not that concept itself for me. Like I, okay. I think I think they, this is just it's getting a bit to be too much when you get to this idea of jumping around to all of these universes, and I just felt like it was really tough to focus because you know the first one yeah, we're it, in it never focused. The first one we're in Miles's universe the entire time. We yeah. get glimpses of these other and worlds. some other characters, but not enough that I'm like I got too much soup in my bowl and it's overflowing. No. Yeah, yeah so I got just enough. They really that's why I got to give that movie so much credit. They they did a, such a good job in balancing that yeah. and really making it a fantastic film. So and this movie is like we made a lot of money. It was great. Let's fucking go overboard. See, yeah. I, I do think that's the cynic. I think that's the more cynical take. I okay. do think. Chris Lord and Phil Miller like these characters and like this, and I think they genuinely probably assume Isn't it that Tim Miller. T- t- it might be. I feel a little, I thought it was Phil Lord and Chris Miller. You did. Tim Miller is uh, the director for Deadpool. They're two different people. Yeah, news to me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm pretty con- Lord Miller production. I like that little thing. Yeah. But no, I, I don't know. I I don't sit. I don't go that far in the way of they were like, let's just make as much money out of this. I think they probably did have two, you know, this long story idea, and this is what they want to do. I'm yeah, sure I mean, they were they, given they, all the creative they, freedom they wanted to do yeah, what they, they did, wanted they did to do. Set this up in the last movie. So I, I don't I don't necessarily like begrudge them for that. I just wish it was a bit more focused. Or paced in a way that didn't make me just like go like why? Right, so okay, we're in Gwen's universe, then we're in Miles' universe, then we're in the in, then we're in Indian Spider Man's universe, uh, and then I get the idea. I like the idea of how they're trying to stop canon from breaking, and it's literally like the timeline stuff from freaking Loki. You're you're trying to yeah, stop yeah. these. They, they have a they have a a timeline when, when tree almost. Yeah, that is looks like the sacred timeline. Yeah, yeah. well, his is in a circle, right? In the in no, that. no, no, the tree thing. Oh really? Yeah, it looks oh, like. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he I th- when when Miguel O'Hare, uh, when Spider twenty ninety nine is is talking uh, like he's like when he begins to exposit yeah. <laughs> about what's going on and all that like I I uh, yeah like the the timeline looks at like the sacred timeline. I'm glad you just said that too. There are stuff I like how they use panels in this and they kind of they use very comic booky things like they'll they'll say a, they say something at one point and then a panel comes up in the bottom right corner to tell the the audience what that thing is. Yeah. I like those ideas and I think they use them very well in the first one. I just wish they kind of would have leaned into that more. I do think some of the animation stuff distracts me more than it enhances. Like in the certain, Gwen thing. The Gwen stuff in her universe I didn't love. When it's like it's yeah, like the painterly her, background when, when that's her like and her dad are talking and it, they're like two different is, colors and yeah. like yeah. I, I kind of liked it because the one looked like almost Jessica Jones. Looking. Sure. Like that, that famous cover of uh a- a- is it uh, Alias Incorporated? Alias, Alias uh, Investigations. Yeah, thought, but yeah. there's that comic book cover that's uh, like it's like purple, and she's like standing there with the camera, and like the back is like painterly between like purple and like white. Yeah, it looked exactly like that, and that, that's what I. Um, but yeah, I just I found yeah. certain aspects to be just a little bit distracting. Even like Spider Punk, the way he was animated, I like the idea of he's like this paper animation sitting on top of it almost, but. I don't know. It just kind of felt a little tired, like it tired my eyes a little bit in a way. There almost. is a lot to look at. Like, I don't think you can watch this movie once and really take everything in. There's so much going on. Also, almost to its detriment. Sure. Like, I, you're I saying, areas, like, yeah. like somebody's going to have a problem with like all these spider people on screen at the same time and trying to figure them all out. And then someone else is going to have a problem with all these, all these different animation styles, styles meshing together all at the same time. And it's like, holy shit. Like, also on top of animation, we get some live action shit in this too, which yeah. I, I don't know why. I guess I, I thought if like we were going to get live action people show up, they would have been anim like the animated version. Like if, you know, if we get like a Tom Holland, he shows up, but he's like animated in their universe. I didn't think we'd actually get like to talk to the woman from Venom. 
for some reason. I think it's, it's a missed like, opportunity to have Tom Hardy. I think come that's all the they could have got. I yeah. don't know. It sounds I like they, they felt like that was Tom like, Hardy. all right, how are we gonna? F- not even necessarily that, because I don't think that's it. I think they could have afforded him. I think it's more of like, do we want to get him on set? Do we feel like paying him to be on set? We could, but that is a lot of money. Yeah. So yeah, we we'll go, get we... the the Asian shopkeep from, from Venom. Yeah. To to and be spot in this, we'll go there. Yeah, we'll uh, talk about him. Later. Yeah, we'll get the spot who I did I did like, but um. Lots just, I don't know, man. I felt a lot of, tr- I felt trouble. I'm sorry. It was hard for me to focus at some points. I don't feel like I usually struggle from that. And again, I, I'm, I've been watching a lot of reviews and stuff just out of curiosity. I really haven't actually watched any reviews of this movie. Actually, yet. I haven't watched any, but I've read some, I should say. Like general I've, reactions I've online and things like that. A lot of people like, like it, but then on Twitter, I'm seeing the people like me who are like us, I should say. Who are like the ending, like totally killed it. And I'm yeah, like, it, yeah. Okay. I don't know if it like completely killed it for me. I was definitely it definitely put a shot in my arm, a bad shot. Yeah, we walked out of that theater like I like, was kind of down. We walked I was. out of that theater together a lot of times, but this time it was like, what the fuck? I was, was just that? sad that it really did just feel so abrupt. And I'm trying to remember. You know what this reminded me of? It's not a movie, but when Deus Ex, the second one, the, the Mankind second one, Mankind Divided ends, and I'm like, wait, that's it? What happened? We were at the third part. What's going on? Yeah. And that's, I know I keep repeating it, but that's the problem with this movie for me is that it felt like they just sliced off half of the third act. But now we're apparently going to get a whole nother two hours and. And yeah, of a third act? I guess so. Or of like a whole nother movie. You know, like we, we get some stuff on Miguel, but like not a ton. We, we don't really know why he's like. Right. Why like, is he all clawy and vampire y? Is that like part of his story in the comics? I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? Is yeah. he like part Spider from the bite? Like, or, or I really don't know much about Spider Man twenty ninety nine. No, he is like kind of like that though. Okay, I didn't know I that. Understand? Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but like again, they don't go into it, and you kind of think he's going to be the villain, right? Even from the trailers, but they kind of like. Ditch but he, him. Is, it's like he, he, he is, is, but he's not. But Spot's also being set up to be this. I, I did like Spot's turn. Oh, throughout. I thought Spot he was, was my very favorite cool. part of the movie. Maybe in, in yeah, certain respects, yeah. like he starts out as this kind of of like schlubby stupid uh villain that you know miles is just like can we just finish this off and he really does kind of start to take this turn of you know this sinister turn really to just be the big bad guy but then it sets up the end and we don't get it <laughs> like yeah and, he, and like and then he's talking about how like you know you made me and then like you kind of don't take him seriously at first but then he explains it and it's like oh he was at the alchemex lab uh alchem alchemex alchemex Al- yeah alchemex yeah. yeah i don't know why that word no, is sorry right? Yeah. Anyway, um, you know, he gets the bagel thrown at him in the first one. He's in literally in the first one. He, like you can see the scene where the yeah. bagel gets tossed at his head. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, so he was working for the kingpin trying to uh, create this not particle accelerator uh, collider. Um, and yeah, so he gets fucked up by their experiments with that. And yeah, Miles actually does create him. Yeah. Um, and you, and like yeah, like you're saying, like the the drive of his gets more and more sinister and real as he yeah. figures out like okay, like my spots are actually like mul- uh, you know multiverse portals. portals, yeah. And you know he, then he goes to Venom. Where does he he goes to like the classic like uh like not forty Spider Man but like a comic yeah com- like comic. literally like a co- yeah it's and then the, the taken Lego right out of comic book was, was great. It was dude, fantastic. And he was like yeah when he. <laughs> Fucking, it was good. and then he calls like Miguel Air, and he's like, uh, he's like, ah, uh, pe- what is he called? Thank you, Peter. Whatever, Peter, you're, one Peter, you're one of our yeah, best. You're one of our best. It's not gonna land. I do wish they landed that stuff. A yeah. lot of, I don't think J. I don't think uh, J.K. Simmons came back to do lines. I think they re- like that. They could have. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely reused Spider-Man two lines. In there that that which, would make sense to me. Oh, yeah, care. yeah, no, that makes sense. But um, you know, we do like. I mean, we're not going to go over all the spiders we see, but, you know. It's so many. We do get amazing Spider-Man, scenes from Amazing Spider-Man. And and Spider-Man, Raimi Spider-Man. Yeah. Of course, though. Couldn't get Tom Holland in there. I think they're saving him for the next one. I think that's, I think he's going to show, I think all, I think three of them might show, like, truly show up. What were we talking about that maybe, maybe this is, the multiverse shit is, Starting to uh, we, that was the Flash. Never mind. Um, where we were talking about Grant Gustin coming into that and like trying to st- like, you know, from g- being able to give that Barry advice on yeah. like, what he did. That's what we we're talking about. Mm-hmm. This multiversal shit is now just kind of all coalescing. I was like re- forgetting what we we're talking about. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I think you might be right about that. I, I was kind of surprised they didn't have them like come in for a scene or something. Like something quick, like mm-hmm. like it was cool that the PS4 Spider Man got um, a, a cameo, a moment, yeah. like a few cameos. He, he's in there, but the one is like him actually from the game. Your Yuri Lowenthal comes yeah. back, and he was I, at the premiere as well. I do think one of the more powerful ones was seeing Andrew, like when they're showing like everyone has an Oscar who dies, and then they go down the whole line of all like the different spot, and then it shows him with uh, Uncle Ben. With Uncle Ben, I was like, oh, yeah, fuck. so. Uh, remind me, yeah, that's when we see the the, the amazing Spider Man, um, uh, not Tobey Maguire. Uh, Tobey Maguire, we see Andrew him Garfield in like a with thing, Uncle yeah. Ben dying. But what 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 do they show Tobey Maguire in? It's the same thing, but he's it's not like a, a hologram like he is almost. It's he's in like one of the like panels you can see right, Uncle Ben dying and him crying over him. Uh, right, were they still talking about the Uncle Ben? Yes, death it's thing? when they're going through their canon events and stuff like that, right. and the things that which you I must... find really cool. It's like you know the reason uh, twenty ninety nine gets pissed at um, Miles is because he's like you're like the original anomaly. Yeah, you were you're bit by a spider, not from your. Dimension. There's no other Miles Morales is Spider Man. We don't see any because he was the anomaly. He wasn't, spo- and and even that kind of links back to the whole thing with what his mom was saying, like you know the theme don't let anyone tell you you don't belong where you go or something like that. And Miguel's like, you're the reason this all happened. You weren't supposed to get bit by that Spider-Man. There's a universe out there without a or bit by that Spider-Man bit by that spider. Yeah. <laughs> There's a spider spider verse out there without a Spider-Man and it's hell. And it, it was a cool reveal. I liked that a lot. I, I, again, you I know think what it was- reminded me of, uh, in kingdom hearts. Yeah. Sora, the main character, is not supposed to wield the Keyblade. He's never supposed to have that. Right. Um, but there are circumstances which, in which the Keyblade chooses him because he's the next best. So, and, like, you kind of go through most of the series not knowing that, and then it kind of starts coming up at the end that, like, you are you were never supposed to be here. Listen, and it pal. really reminded yeah. me of, of that. Of yeah. Like, you know, like, where, like, you know, people are telling Sora, like, oh, yeah, like, you're not the. You're not really the true Keyblade wielder. You weren't supposed to have it, um, and he's like, "Well, it chose me now, and, and that, I don't care. Um, and I'm gonna. I'm, I'm still gonna persist." And that's. But that's why he doesn't get brought in, right, to the Spider Society, because he wasn't supposed to be Spider Man. Correct. Not because his canon event didn't happen already. Correct. Okay. Um. Yeah. So him. Saving Captain Singh in in Indian Spider Man's universe, and I guess Gwen Stacy living, whichever one it was supposed. Maybe yeah, both. I th- well, I think his de- yeah, I think Captain Singh was supposed to die, and he because he could only save one. I think is the idea that right. like whoever died in that moment is his moment. Right. Yeah. And as soon as we got to the, like the bus hang, I'm like, oh fuck, I know it's coming. Well, dude, I remember we were coming up, and I was like, because I'm like, what is the big? Because there was a bit of mystery going into this. They're like, you can't. You can't do that. Like, there was some type of thing going on. You're like, all right, well, they don't want Miles to do something. And then they were coming up like, oh, he, he's going to have to. He, they don't want him to stop the What's death. Happen, but yeah. then there was an even further reveal with him not supposed to be Spider-Man, which I was like, oh, OK. There's a lot of great stuff in this. And again, I think if they just tightened this movie up. Even if this was just an hour and a half and they kind of went like, I, into that I, I'm better, I'm curious I don't know. where we are we are even at that point when that starts happening, like minute mark. Because like that th- th- where we are now is the beginning of the end. Exactly. Like, like, so now we're away, gonna have a whole other three and acts. Then, yeah. Because his spider DNA is uh not of his earth. They sent him to Earth forty two. I think he's Earth sixteen. 1616 something like that yeah yeah yeah. and you know and he's in an earth where um jefferson davis dies aaron davis is still alive and he's a criminal and um, he's their prowler uh maz morales is the prowler uh and there's no spider-man uh and it's it's like you know it's it's like a reverse flash kind of moment in a way yeah um but also and 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 i thought it was cool but then you know, and like he like, you know, the prowlers like fucking with Miles and he like punches the thing and, you know, and then he like throws the gauntlet to to uh, that Earth's Miles and he puts it on and they have this like really like intimidating kind of um, first introduction and then the movie just fucking ends. Yeah. And then like, oh, yeah, we're going to get, oh, like Spider Noir who Nick Cage doesn't want to come back. He's here. Spider and he'll be back. So that's the thing. He's coming. He'll be back for the next movie. I'm sure of it now. Like that. That's yeah. How and it's I- just like, oh, here we go credits to be continued what 
I don't know, man. I, I really did not like that. Uh, it really did just kind of it, took it, all the momentum out of the movie for me. Speaking of MCU, another thing that kind of felt, why did we do this? Why have Donald Glover in the Prowler? Because we haven't been introduced well, to that. There's no Miles in the MCU. What yeah, the we fu- have. We see him in Spider-Man 1. Not yet. No, we don't see him as the Prowler, but we that's Jefferson Davis in, in Spider-Man 1. Right. But he we, exists. So is he... Tom Holland, Spider-Man's villain, or is he Miles Morales' villain? What's going on? Well, what do you mean? That what, he's just the Prowler. Like, what? Why does he have Who's to be he fighting? Why does he need to be fighting someone? Right? He because doesn't. He's in the MCU, in my opinion, he's a low-level criminal. He's probably working as the Prowler. He hasn't run into Spider-Man yet. He hasn't had any reason to. He mentions Miles in that. I don't know. That didn't annoy me. But I get what you're. I, I get what you're saying. To I think degree, it just sets up now that Marvel actually. Also, that's Sony's doing. Not. <laughs> I'm telling you, Kevin Feige was like, "Can you please not." Do that, and they're like, "No, we're well." So, so again, here's the thing: the Prowler is always Miles Morales's villain. He's not Spider Man. He's not Peter Parker's villain. So are they going to have to accelerate the Prowler because he's in this movie? Good. Like, I think you're getting it, too lost in the weeds here, man. I think it was just that could be him from a different universe that's not the MCU. Like, I like I true. I don't know. I'm not just like I think that's sure. just a, a th- like I don't know. I think you're. You're getting too lost in the weeds now. I think he's Donald Glover's going to come back and going to be in the Miles Morales movie whenever they do that. Yeah, I mean so that's what the and I, uh, and he's going to be I, his I, villain. Yeah. I hope for the MCU they kill off Tom Holland. I don't see just because he <laughs> is usually gone when Miles is gone doesn't mean he has to be. Like I don't like I like seeing them together and like actually like in, I want to see a movie where Peter is mentoring Miles and stuff like that. And I'm sorry, I love Tom Holland in that role, so I, I I'll take more of him whenever I can. Uh, Gooch, anything? No, anything else? I'm trying. I don't want to skip over anything. I'm trying to think. I thought all the Spider People were cool. We saw some cool ones. My favorite was definitely Spider Man Unlimited. I c- I can't remember how much I watched that show when I was younger. One of my favorites. I the, the spectacular uh, Spider Man one was was great. Cool. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people love that. That was a very popular. Uh, yeah. I I kind of want to watch some of those shows for sure. Um, uh, I mean, dude, the old the old starting 90s. with um, wh- who's the '90s actor? From the like animated show, yeah, he was he was remember. at the premiere as well. Oh, I think was he? Anyone who played Spider Man, I think, was there. That's so cool. Um, yeah, because I think his name is Tim something. Interesting. Shocker, <laughs> dude. I, that's like one of the first Spider Man things I watched when I was younger. Was those Venom ep- There was like a TV you can't movie. Run from me, you shocker. <laughs> I'll you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I was like, gee, it's dude, such I, a classic. I, I need that, like in in in, in Spider Man Two. Yeah, in oh, the game, I need that. Like some low level villain, just something just, like that. And he's screaming at him. It's, so you know, it's funny. Good. I forgot Shocker's in that first one. I I watched that like a decent amount as a kid. Oh, so did I. Uh, uh, that was like one of the first. That's. Remember, I remember, um, like, got me interested in, in Venom, like the the TV movie version they yeah. did of it. With, with yeah, him, he, with the symbiote he, suit he and teamed stuff. up with the Fantastic Four in that. Yeah, too. yeah, no, yeah. dude, that was a popular show. Apparently, canceled because mm, Spider Man. There was like executives that didn't like each other, and they canceled Spider-Man. it because the one didn't like the other one. It's so weird. Yeah, that's an insane uh, intro music. Spider-Man. It's so yeah, <laughs> Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we got, you know, the people from the first movie came back, too, for a second. We see uh, the, the, the like, an android spider girl. Oh, like, yeah, she's in the Penny. suit. Yeah, Penny actually, like, talks, talks for back. a sec. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of ones that, like, who was the girl who was, like, the computer girl? Yeah. Like, like got, an AI construct. Yeah, like, yeah, it was, like, from like, a future somewhere. Where are we going with it? Again, like, a lot of them were just sort of, like, out there. Like, I'm like, dude, does any of these actually exist? Scarlet Spider of Ben Riley was so much fun for the moments we got him. It was yeah, uh, um, and Andy the, Samberg playing him. Yeah. Um, Strike a pose. And then the, <laughs> so yeah, good. he's like, I'm depressed. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. like, yes. It's so good. Um, I love that outfit, the, too. The, the fucking car from old, uh, that's from Old Man Logan. The spectacular spider car. Well, no, yeah. Well, that's in, that was before that, it's too. Like it was a thing. That yeah, was from like it's... the 60s they introduced, never used again. Yeah. And then they brought it back in Logan. In, in, old in Man that, Logan. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, but he's, good. but it, the car's not like sentient in that. No, it's like, in no, this, it's, it's actually like a live car. <laughs> it was like the, it was, oh, what was it? The spider. Oh, it was the a great name. The T-Rex were funny. It was great. Uh, that, that moment of him escaping was the, a lot of fun. The cyborg Spider-Man, which I was like, I didn't notice he was like super big. Mm-hmm. There was, there was like the Mark one suit. The, what's the one that, that he's um, a different person? Ang something. A, that one. Was there a spectacular Spider-Man one where it's like Otto inside his body? No. I, um, did you ever see that suit? You I, see, oh, the that one, so you know, sick. the suit, the new suit they did a few years ago, Marvel. And it's like the, orange yeah, yeah that one was in there 
Um, yeah, like a lot of suits from the Spider-Man game. It's it's the yeah, one the that kind of looks suit. like an anime robot. Yeah, the stealth suit is in there with the with the gold like and the and the like it runs up. The, it's black and gold. I think that's the no. stealth suit Mark One. No, the st- the Mark Two the is the glowing and, green one. No, the one the one I uh, okay yes, but uh, the other one was like the silver one. Oh, the the spider armor Mark One. I think so. It's like it's all metal and like silver, and it's a hard skull. I, it's in the uh, Spider Man Two, or the game, I should say. Yeah, I'm looking up suits from that because Spider Man Mark One armor. I think that's what you're talking about. But Come I on, might Ricky, be low, I might low, be low. wrong. Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, if you've never all seen right. the intro music for the yeah, 90s okay. Spider Man, the Mark Two suit is the gold it. one. Yeah, we don't get Secret War Stark suit. We don't see a negative suit. Electrically insulated, we might see Spider Punk. We have, um, not fear itself. Uh, the stealth suit. Um, my sp- one of my favorites, Spider Armor Mark Three. We see the Spider Armor from the game too, and it that that they that they made. Do we see that? Game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, one I one I really liked seeing was <laughs> just like the original Jessica, Jessica Drew design in there. She was actually the first one to wear that like Venom design. It was like the black suit with the white spider. Uh, I really want to. I really want to see a proper Spider Woman movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're yeah. getting that that weird Spider Woman film with all those people coming out soon with Madam Web and things. Oh Christ! Don't remind me. Yeah. Which I'm really. I just. I can't even imagine what that's gonna be. But uh, hold on. I almost got it. I almost got it. I'm gonna say Aaron Eichmann. This suit. Oh, is that's what there. I was. Ta- I thought that's what you showed to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's yeah. that's new, right? That that's from the game, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's in the and this is in the Spider Man game. Yeah, but oh, is it from a comic book originally? I thought I they. Fu- I don't fucking know. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was just made for the game, but that's cool. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I know think who it's Aaron really, Eichmann is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who are you, Spider Man? Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, like uh, you know, it, it's cool. I like all this multiversal stuff. It's fun to kind of watch in theaters, but like, like looking back, and it's like this movie is so packed to the brim that I just like don't really know how to feel about it. Like thinking about it afterwards. I definitely probably am not as negative as you, but I am. The ending zapped a lot of energy out of me, and I think that that's why I have a problem with it because I can't just love the rest of the movie and the ending destroyed it. Like I feel like I'm like the 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 the, the aftershock of the ending is now rippling throughout the rest of the movie for me. Um, yeah, no, that makes I'm sense. Just, I'm just, like it, it's interesting. It's reviewing so well. I like it's such a weird. It's such a fucking like run into the wall ending that I'm just surprised more people aren't shitting on annoyed it. about. No, I am yeah. I, honestly I'm I kind of am too, which that's why I do like the uh, internet even, and everything. Even a movie um Far From Home, I don't like. At least it ends properly. Like I, that's what I've been thinking about. I'm like I'm thinking about all these movies that I don't like, but at least they you know, they feel like their own thing. I forget you don't uh, No, that makes sense actually. I'm sorry. You forget that I don't like Far From Home. Yeah, I mean it's, it's like the one Spider-Man movie I really don't like. <sighs> Great film. But um, anything else on Spider Verse? Nah, I, 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 it's probably stuff we missed. Spot was definitely my favorite part. That whole that whole villain. Yeah, Spot's twist is is great. Such and I a, just think such a such a build up. Even but, Miguel and, is just like very underused. You and, don't really understand. Like, well, we know. and we didn't mention how like um you know so now uh, Miguel has to essentially be like take uh, Miles Morales out. Um, of the equation, he's gonna he's gonna try to stop his canon event, which is Jefferson Davis from dying, his dad. Um, so but real quick, I was thinking about this. Jefferson Davis is not his dad, right? Is his, is no, it's confusing. I think he is his biological dad because I was confused about this from the game. Too. I always thought they weren't biological. I thought so too, but I'm wrong. I don't know why they don't have the same last names, or like they, maybe they didn't get he married. Has his mom's name. He has his mom's name, but like oh, maybe they are married. I do think they are. I Either think they, oh, yeah, but I do think it is his biological father because I was confused on this as well from the game. I was looking it up. Yeah, I always thought it was like adoptive father. I thought so too, but I, I, I digress. I don't believe so. Or not adoptive stepfather. Stepfather. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I, you know, and so Peter, uh, not Peter. Um, Miles trying to stop his canon event, you know, kind of triggers everyone to go after him, and then Spot like it, it stops being the villain. Yeah, and then he kind of just well, it's not even that he stops. He's like. All right, we're going now. We got to get after Spot to stop him from killing my dad. And now the right, villain he's is going after Spot. He's trying to get back to his. But earth. then there's this tertiary villain in 
Spider-Man 2066 and stopping 99. him. 99. Sorry. What am I? Why are Cyberpunk. That's what it is. Which is not 2066. It's 2077. <laughs> Right. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, it just diverts diverts very quickly, and just doesn't like, give me a satisfying about, ending. About it. And doesn't close like it would have been one thing if maybe this closed on finishing off the the twenty the Spider Man twenty ninety nine storyline. Like if we got like uh, an outcome with how that will end, and it's like okay, next part we're finishing off Spot, but like the the next movie we have to fight him and Spot. Right, so it's I, like, I think I got I right. I think if that was the case, if one thread was tied and maybe the other one was still loose, I'd be like, okay, well at least we did finish up our story. I have a satisfying and then, okay, thing but like to it makes sense here. now that this loose thread is still hanging in the air. We're gonna deal with it in the next movie, mm-hmm. which is like classically what happens with a lot of these comic book sure. movies. But it's just like everything was kind of left uh, on the fucking table here. Afraid, it's no like, knots. Yeah, we 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 didn't finish. We didn't wrap anything up. Not a thing. Nothing. Which again, I, I everything know. is still out. I loved Dune, and that didn't really wrap up a lot of stuff. But it didn't feel like it cut me off at the third act. You know what I mean? It didn't feel like I, we were we were like getting ready to go into the final battle again. I really think it, I really think it's the lack of emotional attachment. But with I just the see with Dune. me, I I am emotionally attached to them. I don't know. So you do uh, like you like, and I like that. Like and you know, I I, I Paul. I like Paul a lot. I do. I think okay. I, I like seeing what he deals with. Yeah, as somebody who like hasn't read the books, like I don't really give a shit. I don't give a shit about these characters, and I. But I guess I don't really give a shit about these characters. Sure. Whereas in, but you're not like actively disliking them either. I assume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm still like, watching the movie. Yeah. Um, but you're more in it for the setting, maybe even at that point. I don't. know. I mean, I. I yeah. Sure. Sure. Um. I just, I just don't get it. I don't understand how like they thought that was a good idea. Like not one thread being complete. I will not give one them, arc being. Finished. I will give them credit. Apparently, everyone's really liking it. So we're, we're we are the odd man out here. I will I will say that a hundred percent, and I want to be perfectly clear Been about here before. that. So <laughs> guess what? If you if you absolutely if you enjoyed Spider Verse, yes, go see this. I think and you, you know should. Like, Let uh, us know why you liked it, and maybe why we're wrong, or and maybe old something we're, we're terrible missing. People, yeah. uh, I could I I could I I'm not. I don't think it's terrible by any means. Well, I, di- I, well, I dislike the ending. I don't think the rest of the movie is bad, and I'm I'm willing to hear the other side and and maybe like um am- amend my opinion or maybe change it be a somewhat. Yeah, more more. I don't, think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna totally like come around to it, but I'm willing. It may be to more be, like soft clay. I'm willing to be uh, persuaded sure, or sure. Uh, uh, coerced. I see. All right. Well. Thank you all so much for watching with us live. If you've been with us on twitch.tv slash Delco Nerd Network, we really appreciate your time. You can find this podcast anywhere podcasts are found. Just search Delco Nerd Network. We have a Facebook page, a Discord channel as well. We're on all your favorite social medias as well, uh, at Delco Nerds on basically everything. You can find all this information on our website, DelcoNerdNetwork.com. You can even email us, DelcoNerds at gmail.com with all your comments, questions, or concerns. We would be happy to get back to you. And if you could like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend about us, it really goes a long way. Uh, we love to see people, uh, you know, join in the community. We have a Discord. Feel free to join with us. Please, please, please go see Gooch at the Too Many Games panel on June 24th, 5th, 4th? June 24th at 5.15. 515 to 6. It'll be a great time. You'll get to see his beautiful face. You'll see him live. You'll see a live recorded podcast that we've done, you know, over the internet, but never live in person. Correct. And I'm yeah, sad yeah. I could not be there, but we will be there, or I will be there in spirit. But... For Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, and we will see you next time.